Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to be cleaning up the anime room, hopefully once and for all. And yes, it is a mess again. If you saw in the last video, it's pretty messy. I'll give you guys a quick look at what it looks like, and then we'll get into cleaning everything up. So here's a quick look at the anime room while it's messy. I just want to straighten out everything up there. There's a fair few things I want to do today. Um, the floor is a total disaster. I want to get in there and stack everything up nicely and take out... There's actually comic books, a fair few boxes of comic books under those um, figure boxes. So I want to take them out of this room. Uh, there's also a guitar in here behind the door I want to take out. And if I get time, all of these figures I want to go over and just give a quick dust and maybe reassemble them in a nice, neat order. So without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is get in there on the floor and clean that up so I can actually walk around, um, probably bring stuff out and then eventually put stuff back in. So let's get that started now. Here's my old acoustic guitar I learned to play on. It's a bit out of tune, but it's still good. Alrighty, so now I've got all of the figure boxes out of here. I've got some stuff left over, like uh, a bunch of anime I want to show off in the next Anime Gains episode. I'm going to have an orderly fashion to that, and you'll see what I mean by the end of this video. Um, but the main reason you can't actually get in here and move around is because, if you can see, there's all these massive boxes filled with comic books. And, you know, they don't need to be in here because I can't move around. Um, the problem was I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. But... Besides the point, I'm going to take them out. I actually need to get them all out and put them into my uh, collection database. So I'm going to take them out and do that next time. And then I'm going to find another permanent home for them because they can't stay here. They're just too heavy and encumbering to this room. Now, I also have a fair bit of miscellaneous anime merchandise around me. I'm starting to get into collecting that sort of stuff. I think it's really cool, especially the stuff that's um, nostalgic to me. The stuff from back in my childhood that I grew up with, like... Uh, these Pokemon Easter eggs, for example. Oh my god. What am I trying to say? My toes are bending! My toes are bending like backwards trying to be sitting down here. I have some more stuff in a Zing pickup and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that shortly on the channel. And that's all going to go in here as well. But for now, we'll focus on what's in here. And I'll keep clearing the floor and then we'll go to the next step. Alright, so now the floor is mostly clean. I've just got to get a little bit of extra bits and bots out of here. Um, but the next step I'm going to be doing is all of the stuff, the DVDs on top of this shelf, haven't gone into my collector's app yet. So they're going to be taken out, put into the collector's app, maybe not right now, but sometime tonight, and then put back into this shelving if there's room for it. Otherwise, the shelving out there they'll go into. Now you can see just how many boxes of comic books are in here. I did a massive pickup. Um, from a garage sale not long ago, I bought nearly 400 comics in one pickup. So that was epic and I haven't shown up on the channel yet. I don't know if I will, um, but right now they're all lined up along the hallway. Well, not really a hallway, but the bedroom just outside of this um, anime room here. And I'll find a place for them, probably temporarily just going to go under the table. Um, but then they might be moved somewhere into storage after I put them into the collector's app. So th there's a fair bit of just like databasing, is that the word? Like, cataloging, I guess what you would say. Um, what I actually have that I haven't put into my database for my collections, because, you know, having a collection this large, like everything, not just anime, um, I have like hundreds of video games and, yeah, hundreds of comics, and now I have hundreds of figures as well. I pretty much start to forget what I have, and on the odd occasion I will rebuy something I already have, so it's very important to put them all into 
um, a database that I can like quickly search off my phone just alphabetically what I have. That way everything's just organized and I also, you know, if something goes missing, you know, I know what I have. That's the main point behind this. So I'm just going to give you guys a brief look at what everything looks like. Maybe this shelf and this shelf. Um, just to keep you up to date with what's going on in here. And then I'm going to move on to what I said before. So let's do it. So here is what this shelf currently looks like. It's pretty messy. It needs a quick clean up. Um, but I've got a bunch of my old Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dragon Ball Z trading cards here. And I actually picked up some sealed booster sets off eBay of the Dragon Ball Z uh, trading card set. And that's what I mean when I'm getting into collecting just, you know, merchandise and old stuff that I used to collect. Or uh, rather, I used to own when I was a kid. I also have some, these are really cool, Pokemon Easter sets. So that one's a tin and it has um, just some generic eggs inside. And this one is a mug, you can see there, with all of the Pokemon. Uh, with a big egg inside, and they're both new and sealed. Apart from that stuff, not much has changed. I've displayed a few of the figures here. I'm not sure if they're going to stay like that. Um, I kind of just put them there because I didn't have room for them anywhere else. Uh, but there's some more boxes down there. Pretty much everything else is the same in here. And these are all of the figures that made it through the culling. <laughs> there's a few more out in my shelf um, just outside this room, but... Here's what's left. There's still a lot, and keep in mind I put in the last video, I think 25 altogether back into their box, and in this video they're going to go back into this room and be stored on the top shelf. So I better get to it, otherwise this video is going to run way too long. So before I started I was having a lot of worries that all of these boxes wouldn't fit up here and I had to take one after another after another of the DVD boxes out and they just fit using the entire shelf which I didn't really want to but I am glad I got them all in there um, at least now they're all in the anime room stacked up as good as I could I pretty much left the big boxes till this shelf which probably wasn't the best idea um, but either way I don't think I could have got any more in if I tried Almost a perfect fit, that's really, really funny. But rest assured, I have a plan for the collector's art boxes, and I'm going to be doing that in the next video. So I'll give you guys one final look at everything I've done in this video. Um, it was actually pretty damn time consuming, I wanted to do a little bit more than I've done. But I'll save that for the next anime vlog. Um, so let's finish this off. So just ignore all of the DVDs scattered around, but this is the finished product for the top shelf. Exclusively figures, apart from those two limited edition Ghibli movies. And now if you remember at the start of the video I had a plan for what I was going to do with all the DVDs going into the Anime Gain series. Let's get that sorted out now. Here we have a box, just an everyday box. So with the help of some Loctite... where the hell is the camera? So with the help of some Loctite super glue, we are going to glue this together because for some reason it's not. We don't need a lot of this going on. We just need enough so we can sort of glue it up so it's a little bit better 
And this stuff pretty much sticks, like, instantly. It is the best super glue I've ever used. Chris actually broke my most expensive anime figure in my collection. That's my cat, for those of you who don't know. And I was devastated, to say the least. I looked online on YouTube and found out some, uh, just some reviews of what my local Bunnings had. And apparently, Loctite was the way to go, and I seriously um, can't speak highly enough about this glue. It's really, really good. So if you ever need super glue, be sure to use Loctite. Um, it'll stick anything. I've actually used it for work as well, and stuck like granite, um, like pots back together. So it's really, really diverse. So I'm thinking we don't really need the rest of this lid here, so we're going to use these scissors and cut this off as best as we can. It's a little bit messy, but that doesn't matter. Just shake out all of the hair there. And finally, we're going to take a marker pen. I'm using red because I'm feeling crazy. We're going to open this up and we're going to write on here. We'll do all capitals. Anime Gains. Alrighty, so there we have it. This is going to sit at the back of the anime room, and as I pick up anime, I'm going to put the DVDs into this box, and when this box gets full enough, I'm going to film the anime games video. So that's how I'll know, um, <laughs> because I have stuff like in the bedroom, here, there, and everywhere. This will help me keep track of doing that. Um, there's actually going to be an anime games coming up very soon on the channel, uh, because I haven't filmed one in a fair while, and I have a bunch of stuff I need to show off. So, yep, that's going to go at the back there. I'm going to fill that up, and we're good to go. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for when I finish off the anime room in here. There's a little bit more that needs to be done, uh, just for time constraints. I don't want to keep this video too long. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Footage can be complete and other shit, probably, but...